Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of Let's Play Kirby in the Amazing Mirror. So uh, from, yeah I'm continuing, so from here just hit this bomb, careful, and go through here. And we get to the uh, room right before the, uh, well what do you think? So uh, there's a couple of trophies here, this one's for Cutter, this one's for Fighter, and this one's for Bomb. Uh, haven't shown off Bomb yet, so why don't I go with that? It's pretty basic power. So, just fall down and find King Gollum. So, pretty much a clone of Wispy Woods. Um, um, maybe a little harder, but nothing we can't handle. Sorry if I'm not doing too well, I'm used to using some, uh, less basic powers. Uh, whoa, that kid, that kid got golem in one hit. Nice. Bomb's more powerful than I thought. And there we go. So when we get the piece, it fits in where it should fit in the mirror, and we go back and we do our little thing. You know what Kirby's do whenever they clear a level. Usually he'd make clones of himself, but they're off doing something else. Yeah. We then get sent back to the hub, and from here we need to go through the portal that we opened earlier, because that is the only way to get out of the loop that is that door and that door. So, just go in here. Oh, hey there. I think he's going to follow me. Nuts. Okay, so... Let's just get this chest that has the map of Rainbow Root. Damn it. Can you maybe give me your hammer? That would be nice. Uh, anyway, let's uh, take a look at the map here. So, uh, here's the hub. Um, here's the path. Um, here's where we are, so... Let me just uh, zoom out for a bit. Yeah, so as you can see, this is a pretty large area. I don't think I want to go to any bosses today. I think I'm just going to explore, you know? See what I can find all by myself. So, let's start with that. And let's go to the right. As you can see, there are little um, lines here. If you had a power like Cutter, you could cut them and go see what's underneath, but... Not today. Oh, maybe today. I suppose I should try and see, you know. This game's about exploring. Um, over here we have a Max Tomato. They didn't heal me after the boss? Huh. Well, their loss. Come on. Come a little closer. There you go. And... There's this little uh, hidden path here that leads to Moonlight Mansion again, but the outside. Let me just show you. Uh, yeah. If we um, kept on going, we'd make it there, but that's not where I want to go. So, let's just go down then. Oh, that's the thing with these um, droppy enemies. If they touch you and you have a power, they will take it. Kind of like those tacks, except they actually transform into the enemy that the power applies to. If it's not a particular enemy, they'll just go bat crazy. So, watch out for that. Um, let's see. Here we have some blocks. Sliding is just... I don't need that. Um, sorry if my commentary is not very interesting right now. Let me just get this guy for the burning power. Check that out. And that can get through these metal blocks, so awesome. Let's see what kind of things we can find here. Oh, that is an interesting enemy, a mirror. It is guarding a door, and if you try to attack it with an up-close attack, it will run away, dig the door down with it, and you won't be able to go through. So the easy way of dealing with them is just blowing a puff of air. In this case, this one leads to the other part of Moonlight Mansion. So... Let's just go back, see if you try to, um, take him. Yeah, see how it digs up like that? So, 
and that slam made the other one dig down. Whoops. I wanted to see if I could use that too. Maybe later. Maybe later. Um, I'll take all the paths eventually. Oh, we got a little change of music here. Alright. Always welcome. Uh, Shotso's invincible. They'll kill you. Uh, gotta be careful for this. A one-up is always good. You never know when you might die. And I might die. You never know. Oh. Ah. Youch. I want to get this this guy. Eh. You bit. You bit. See? I told you I might die. Let's try that one again, shall we? Uh, maybe from a safer distance. It's not really that it's a good power at all. I just like it. It's cute. There we go. Cupid. With this, we could just... We have a lot more control over our flying, and we shoot arrows and stuff. Over here, we have a little secret path where I can get... If you charge up your shot, you will fire three arrows at once. So, there we go. I made up for it. See that? Huh. Let's just move along here. Um, those paths are uh, other directionals and such. Uh, from here, let's go up. Or not. Wrong way. Let's try this path, then. Uh-huh. I pierced your butt. Yeah. I'm just gonna go around, so... I hate those guys. Like, if you let them get spinning, you won't be able to hurt them. Um, up here, we have another path. This one leads to Mustard Mountain, but we're not gonna go there yet. We will go everywhere eventually, but plan to 100% this game, you know. Um, let's see. Haha! -ha! And over here, we have a secret path to another part of Mustard Mountain. So remember all this for some other times. Hup. Hup. Like I said, I'll try to... Ah! That's it. <sighs> I might have got a mix, but yeah. And the other benefits of this is that I get to open more portals, so... This is one that leads right here. Um, nah. I was thinking of getting the tornado, but not today. I'll get that. Or not. Stars could get in my way. Kirby is an angel, you know that? Damn it. Ah. Man, two of my partners have UFO right now. Jerks. Um, let's see. Let's go down this way. Ah. I guess there's no use in going down that way. Let's just keep on moving up. Huh. I thought maybe one of them would get through to the foley, but apparently not. I missed the pop... the... whatever those were called. Brothers... Were they called Poppy Brothers? I think so, but yeah. The old enemies that gave you bomb. They were neat. And they had a neat little mini-boss. Yeah, don't get go too close to those guys when they die. It Jesus Christ game really likes this power. Um, oh yeah, another way to get rid of these blocks is to shoot through them with a cannon. For example, it'll lead me up here to a star. And we're out of there. But still in Rainbow Root. God damn it, I didn't want this. I'll just go powerless for a little bit. It's interesting this way. I'm not going to go through this for the whole game, though. Huh. Aw, oh, nuts. That wasn't what I wanted to do. 
Oh, well, I can always come back. Like, in two seconds. <laughs> or not. This is one way. Oh, well. I'll get back to it. I wonder where I am. Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll get Tornado. I really haven't used this power extensively, so I don't know how it works exactly. But... Yeah. I can't even break these? Nuts. I'll have to... Hit him some other way. Oh yeah, you can just... Those are breakable. Oh, that's a uh, goal. We don't want to go there. That'll take us back to the hub. And it's one way. Yeah. This is why I don't like this power. There's no control at all. Break any. I, I mentioned that already, didn't I? Okay, um, let's move on through here to fight another mini boss. A box boxer. Well, that's the good thing about Tornado, I suppose. You're invincible for its duration. Because this guy is pretty annoying. But I'm going to make him look like a cakewalk. Wow, look at me handling this like a pro. There we go. And I can get a fighter from him. There we go. That's more like it. <laughs> ha ha! Your treasure is no not able to hide from me. All right. Um, is there a way? To get oh, there's not a way to get out of here. Whoops. So, all right. I guess I get to show you what the goal is like. Basically, you get on the star, and you blast off, and then s items will fall at you as you go through. That was a bad example, but usually there's more valuable things, like one-ups all over the place. But So yeah, when you take that goal, you get sent back to the hub. And the other portal is right here, so I'm just going to go through here, and we'll continue on next time on Let's Play Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, and yeah, bye.